I'm going to offer my opinion on Alex Jones. I doubt very much he is actually legitimate opposition and, um, you know, in the old concept that he's probably controlled opposition. Now, I don't want to get into this stuff, the CIA, the government, and all that type of stuff, but uh, I just want to state briefly that, you know, when actually there's a problem where the people have a problem with the government, per se, what's really going on, it's not that the people really have a problem with the government as much as there's big money that is actually controlling the government or just has an inside angle into the government where they're using rules and laws to their own advantage financially and money wise basically so Alex Jones actually I don't think he's legit in a lot of ways I know I saw him go into Bohemian Grove so many years ago and uh, make confrontations and everything with people but I think he was all allowed to do this if somebody's really a thorn in the side of big money they get rid of him one way or another he's not getting a lot of heat if he was legitimate total opposition to big money what would really be happening is he would be having 50 million lawsuits against him for various things there'd be all kinds of scandals anything because there's always something somebody can pull up on somebody there's always something or there's some way they can set him up in other words too if he was such a big thorn in the side of people, they could put clips of him on the major media saying things out of context and or making associations with him. So that's why I say he's not legit. But I also want to keep him keep people keep in mind that it's not being uh it's not the government per se that's after you. I guess that could be the enforcement arm or whatever. But really what it is is big money that uses the government to their own advantage basically it's not government for the people it's basically big money controlling the government per se that always seems to make the most logical sense and as to when something happens and of course nobody does everything out in the open so I guess you could call that a conspiracy you know but it basically it is money and power but I don't think this guy's legit because they would be hammering him left and right in the major media and the other thing is RT likes to actually um, make him look good a lot of times. You know, they show him in a favorable light. So, he's basically leading the uh, disgruntled masses off a cliff, probably. So, just want to point that out real clear, uh, quickly. And uh, that stuff where he got into Bohemian Grove, huh, you know, I, I, you know, yeah, he got in there, but big deal right actually I knew about that before he was ever in there it was actually on news stories before that too so but it gives him a lot more credibility right that's just my opinion because like in other words 50 million lawsuits against this guy they'd be showing clips of him being this being that they don't do that in the major media they don't attack him so he's being left alone pretty much so I say he's just a rabble rouser Beware, beware.